do this magical technique to manifest money fast and easily. And I say magical because you'll be surprised how doing this one thing, yo, it changes everything. Let me explain. As some of you know, my wife and I used to be more religious back in the day. And we're missionaries out here in the Philippines, pretty much full time. And things were good for a while, you know what I'm saying? But then over time, I started to question my faith, my beliefs, and encourage others to do the same. And those who supported us financially didn't like that. <laughs> and so one by one, they withdrew their support. And it got to the point where we weren't sure how we were going to be able to pay rent. Because many times, leading up to when it was due, we still didn't have enough money. Rent was due at the end of the month on the 30th. So that day for us was a very important day. I get anxious just thinking about it. So what I would do is usually around one or two days before rent was due, I go into our bedroom and pray. This was my Christian lingo back then. I'd be like, God, rent's due tomorrow. I don't know what to do, but you're a good God. So no matter what happens, I know you'll take care of us. I trust you. I leave it into your hands. Then boom, this big weight would be lifted off my shoulders. There was this big sigh of relief. And you know what would happen? The money would show up every single time. For real, every time, in the most random ways. And this went on for years, you guys, for years. And I couldn't understand why. Was it God's plan? His way of testing us? I remember telling my wife, you know, it's dope that we have all these miracle stories of God providing for us. But why does it always got to be so last minute? And then I discovered the answer, you guys, of why money wasn't flowing into our lives. Here's the answer. Ready? It's because I place too much importance on money. What do I mean? There's something called the law of balance. The law of balance, which I finally understood, thankfully, by reading Vadim Zilin's book, Reality Transurfing. You see, according to this law, nature always strives towards balance. Okay? Everything in nature. So whenever you screw up that balance in any way by placing too much importance on something, whether it be an object, a person, an event, money, anything, here's what happens. Balance forces come into play to correct the imbalance, to bring things to a state of equilibrium. For example, let's say there's a girl who grew up in an abusive home where her dad drank too much. He was an alcoholic. So when she got older, she kept telling herself, I will not marry an alcoholic. I will not marry an alcoholic really feeling a dislike towards them. In other words, placing a lot of importance on it, putting a lot of energy there, therefore creating an imbalance. Think of like a weighing scale where one side is lower than the other because there's too much there. Now, since nature always strives towards balance, what is she going to get? Who is she going to attract? An alcoholic. Not because God's punishing her or the universe is testing her. Nah, dude, it's just nature neutralizing the imbalance in her life. That's it. Don't you notice that when you want something badly, when you're desperate for something because it's so important to you, the thing that you want gets further and further away, right? Balancing forces. So the solution to when there's too much importance to something is this. Reduce the level of it. Decrease the excess energy. Why? Because when you're in balance and in harmony with the world, your desires will come to you a lot more smoothly and effortlessly. So in retrospect, when I look back at all those times of financial struggle, I get it now. The law was operating. Remember, I would place a lot of importance on the 30th, right? Because rent was due. I was so anxious about it. Then a day or two before, I'd pray and give it to God. I'd let go, so to speak. I'd feel that ah, big sigh of relief. Now realizing that that was decreasing importance, restoring balance which is why money would always show up afterward. Is this making sense? Okay, so how do you decrease importance? Here's how. Have a plan B. Now, this is where people misunderstand this. I've heard people say, if you want something, there should never be a plan B, only a plan A. That's true faith. Well, but it depends. If there's no inflated importance, okay. Yeah, you'll get it with faith. But if you have a goal and there's too much importance, there's imbalance, well then, you gotta have a plan B, like a safety net. Not because you're gonna end up with your plan B for sure, but you simply entertain just a little bit the idea of a plan B, of the possibility of defeat, of failure, where you say to yourself, if this doesn't work out, then I can try such and such instead. Or if I don't get that, I know I'm still gonna be okay. 
just to neutralize things energetically. So I'm not saying that you can't get what you want. Okay, now what would be the point of learning all this manifestation stuff? Again, you're entertaining these possibilities just to help reduce the level of importance you've projected onto something, which will then in turn allow you to get what you want. See the magic there? I mean, think of all the things that are easy for you to manifest every day, like paying for coffee, food, groceries. Your energy is chill, right? No big deal. Now, you take the same energy and you apply it to the quote-unquote bigger things. Folks, know what you want, in this case money, and believe it's already yours. Just stay calm and cool, balanced, and just watch. In a way you do not know, the money will come because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, I'll spread this message. If you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.